Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of November 30th through December 5th. This is for you and another person, so I don't know who the other person is, but I'm sure you're going to be able to figure it out. So what do we have for Sagittarius for the week of November 30th through December 5th? Sagittarius, so Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In regards to them and another person and what is going on. This person will be somebody that is very much in your energy. Seven of Swords reversed. Two of Wands reversed. High Priestess, you know something. Your intuition is spot on. This is your column. Somebody's been lying. Somebody's been deceiving. Somebody is up to no good. Uh, there's some sort of stagnation here. A fear of the unknown. You may be very fearful. Fearful of what is going to happen. I feel like you are very, very intuitive. Listen to your gut. Um, right now... Right now, I think that you're struggling because of that Seven of Swords reverse. That's your energy. You may be needing to let go of something, finding a new approach. You may have some sort of unworkable plan here. Um, I don't know if, there, if somebody is doing something illegal. If you are thinking about doing something illegal, I would suggest that you don't because there's a good probability that you could get caught. Um... Five of Pentacles reverse. Now this is the other person's column. Death. Now this could go vice versa. This could be your column and this could be their column. That could absolutely be the case. And this is the overall outcome between the two of you. Overwhelming. This is a burden. This is carrying a lot of baggage. Uh, holding on, needing to let go. Ah, three of wands reversed. Hermit reversed, midlife crisis. Somebody's going through a midlife crisis. The overall energy is the emperor reversed. So, this is some, the emperor reversed is out of control. Okay, it's an out of control energy. Angry, upset, narcissist, not taking responsibility, not interested in helping, somebody that is corrupt. Somebody that deserts you in the time of need. Uh, this is somebody that is not very experienced, that is on the wrong side of the law. It does feel like we have somebody here that is breaking the law. Whether it's you or another person, this is uh, out of control. Somebody is losing control. They can't control themselves. Um, there is death here with these two cards. So death is the end of a situation. Something is coming to an end. I'm not sure what it is or who it is or what kind of situation it is, but it is coming to an end. There may be somebody here that is extremely ill, and I don't know what kind of illness this is, but they could be sick. Um, Four of Swords reversed. Now that is, and these are, these, somebody may have been in a period of isolation. They may be coming out of isolation. This could be the beginning of a new life. Anyhow, I feel like this is your side. I don't know why. I feel like that either one could be. I feel like you are going through a major transformation. I think that you've been through some serious hard times. I think those hard times are going to be coming to an end. Right here. This is your side. I believe this is your side. This is supposed to be the other person's. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very, very secretive. They don't really... They lie a lot, you know, or they, they, they don't tell the truth. They keep secrets. You're dealing with somebody that is very secretive. Um... There's some sort of stagnation here with this two of wands. This is, uh, I don't know if there's going to be a sudden arrival, a sudden return, or a sudden departure. This is, an, this is a secretive individual that doesn't very much, uh, doesn't communicate very much, keeps things to themselves. Whoever you're dealing with um, is staying put. They're not, they're not... Somebody is doing something against the law and they're hiding it very well. That's what just came out. I think somebody is hiding something. Um, cowardly behavior. I think that we have somebody here that is, is a coward. There, there's a thief. You may be dealing with a thief. 
somebody that is very, very secretive. Be careful. Be really, really, really careful. We have some, some high risk here. There's a risky business. Risky business here. I think you're dealing with somebody that is corrupt. And I think that you need to be careful because they could get you in trouble. Somebody could get you in trouble. I would be very, very, very careful. Now, getting caught, somebody could get, they could, they could try to get, uh, blame you for something. That's what it is. They may, you could be dealing with somebody that is very, very sneaky, very, very sly, very, very secretive that is hiding something that is going to try to pin something onto you. Okay, I don't know if it's money related or what, so just be really careful this week. I feel like whoever this person is, they have a lot of um, responsibilities. I feel like they're overwhelmed and they're causing you to be overwhelmed. This person um, is definitely not healthy. And I feel like they're gonna, they're bringing you down. They may be stealing your energy of some sort. Anyway, I feel like you are unprepared. You are unprepared for um, something. You're unprepared for something to be shown. Something is going to be shown. Um, my advice. Oh, God. Is to not socialize. Do not socialize with somebody. You need to uh, retreat for some reason. Retreat. Stay home. Don't don't do it. Whatever that means. Don't do it. Don't go. Don't go. You could get sick. You could get sick. And I don't know what that if what this is, but somebody could get sick if they go out it's there is a need to and I know what's going on with the world and I'm not trying to scare anybody but there's a need to not go out just stay home whatever that means just stay home because there's some sort of sneaky sly individual that is against you there is somebody that is against you I feel like there's jealousy here you're dealing with somebody that is jealous of you you are totally not prepared there's lack of foresight here um, dashed expectations not seeing going through some sort of midlife crisis you could end up in a midlife crisis and there maybe even rehab somebody could end up in rehab because with both of these cards um a counselor counseling somebody could be dealing with a counselor somebody may get some sort of advice that they need to go to rehab uh just saying i don't know who that is um Sagittarius, I feel like you are being cheated. You are being cheated. You are being deceived. Somebody is lying to you. This person um, is very, very, very secretive. Feels like it's a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Um, it could be anybody else. Whoever you're dealing with is super. It could be an Aries. Could be an Aries. Could be a Virgo. Um, Anyhow, I feel like you are going through a major transformation. You've been struggling. You've been experiencing some hard times. You've been in isolation. and I, But I feel like you're going to be coming out of isolation soon. But there is no hurry. Do not rush anything. Do not rush anything because... It may not be time. You may need to just relax. Just relax. I do feel like you're overwhelmed. I feel like you're carrying some sort of heavy burden. Something is weighing you down. And I don't know what it is, but it's it's a need to socialize. You may be feeling very lonely, feeling very alone. My advice is to not seek out people that don't support you. I feel like you're lonely and there is somebody around you that may see that you're vulnerable and they may use you and, you know, use you for their own benefit and you need to be damn, damn, damn careful this week. Um, that middle card is a transition. It is a separation or loss. I think you are going to be experiencing an ending of some sort. I really do. This is the end of a idea, the death of a person or idea. It really is. So towards the middle of the week there's going to be a profound change it's all of a sudden it is sudden change with somebody that you are dealing with totally unprepared and there could be and it could be an arrival okay that could be the change all of a sudden somebody arrives and um 
causes some sort of problems. It feels like uh, that five of pentacles reversed. There's some sort of being left out in the cold, abandonment. Somebody has felt is felt abandoned, you know, and now it feels like they are coming to uh, end something, whatever that means. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a death, the ending in the middle of the week that, that changes your direction, that allows you to come out, allows you to come out of hiding. You know, you I don't know, maybe you've been hiding, you know, because there's hiding, there's hiding here, there's isolation, there's uh, not wanting to socialize, but now being able to, it feels like, yes, you're going to be able to socialize, but you got to be careful not to get sick. So whatever that means, I feel like there's some poor health here. I feel like your health has not been the best and you need to be careful. You need to be careful with who you hang around with. Um... I see a turning point. You are going to be going through a turning point. A new life is, I mean, endings lead to new beginnings. So whatever is ending for you leads to a new beginning. You have, it feels like you've been, been overwhelmed by some sort of deception. Somebody's been lying, but it's all coming to an end. It feels like the truth is going to come out. Some sort of secret is going to be revealed or somebody is going to be, something is going to be shown, okay? Or something is coming to an end. Something is coming to an end. I think you've been restricted, but the, the restrictions are about to end, whatever that means. The restrictions are about to end. I feel like you've been dealing with a very manipulative individual, and I don't even need it. I just with that high priestess card, I don't think it's you. I think you're dealing with somebody that is very, very skilled at um, hiding things. This person is going to be disappointed. They've been holding you back. Could be a Pisces. Somebody has been holding you back. This is a very cunning, cunning, cunning individual. Doesn't have to be a Pisces. Somebody's been holding you back. They've been putting restrictions on you. But there's going to be an ending to that. This week, things are coming to an end. Um, somebody did not want to be held responsible for their actions. And there's disgrace here. They may have disgraced you. There could be some sort of embarrassment, but it's all coming to an end. You, I feel like you are going to be able to live again, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. I think you've been, I think that, uh, There's some sort of fear of growing old alone. You may have had some fear of growing old alone, but that's just fear. I feel like you're going to be socializing. You're going to be coming out. You're going to be... Um, seeing something differently. It's like you, you're you able. You're able now. You're able to be free. You're able to get up, you're able to go outside, you're able to, to relax, whatever that means. This is the end of an overwhelming situation with that Ten of Wands. I, I, whoever we're talking about here has abandoned you. I feel like they've abandoned you, they've, they've, they've ghosted you, or they've hurt you, or they uh, lied to you, or they've stolen from you, or they cheated you, or they... This is, whoever you're dealing with has really uh, held you down. This person has weighed you down. They've kept you trapped in a situation. It feels like this person is about to be removed from your life. All of a sudden. 
It's a sudden ending, a sudden ending that you did not see coming. Totally unprepared, unprepared for this new beginning, unprepared for this new life. This is an ending with a new beginning to follow. You're dealing with somebody that is transitioning away from you. This person is going away from you. And it's going to allow you to socialize and open up. And, you know, it's, it's time. It's time. You've spent enough time in hiding. It's time to come out of hiding. Whatever that means for you. But I do feel like you're going to be overwhelmed because the overall energy is that Ten of Wands and the Hermit Reverse. It, that's, that's coming out of restrictiveness, no longer being restricted, totally unprepared for this feeling, a heavy weight. You may feel weighed down. You may feel overwhelmed, but it's coming to an end because Tens are completions. You're gonna be you're gonna be dropping something. I think that you've been under somebody else's demand. It's like you somebody has been demanding you to do this. You've been you've been restricted. You've been demanded, but now now you're able to uh, be free in some way. Knight of Cups reversed. King of Cups reversed. There's, there's a lack of love here. There's a lack of love. You're dealing with an individual that is very hard, very hard-hearted, very rigid, very cold, uh, very emotionally unavailable. And I feel like uh, a relationship is coming to an end with this person. I don't know if it's a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could also be an Aries. Um, but it is coming to an end. There's no love there. There's no love lost. I think it's going to be very emotional. I feel like uh, heartless. You've been dealing with somebody that is heartless, but that is definitely coming to an end. You're going to be separating from somebody that has held you down, that has held you back. This person has abandon you in some way anyway or they may be abandoning this week I do feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel I think that you're about to see some improvements in your life and I feel like you're about to see some improvements in your life because this unhealthy relationship with whoever you've been dealing, whoever this person is, is coming to an end. I feel like there's going to be a loss. I feel like it's going to be a major loss, but it leads to a turning point. For some of you, you may be securing a job. If you were struggling financially, you may be securing a job this week, which enables you to... Uh, socialize, you know, it enables you to get out there, to put yourself out there, to uh, not be so lonely, you know, you'll probably be working with other people. Anyway, so some of you are securing a job, and I think that you've been extremely overwhelmed, but I think that you, and I do feel like you got to ha still have a lot of responsibilities, you're going to have to work hard, you may be totally unprepared for this new beginning, but it's coming, whether you like it, all of a sudden, we have a sudden new beginning here after an ending, after a death of something. After something ends, you have a new beginning that uh, leads you in a new direction. So anyway, whoever you've been dealing with, well, that is a separation. It's the end. You, you have been dealing with somebody who... Uh, neglected you. They neglected you in some way. And they held you down for so long. They held you down. And there's been a lot of wasted time on this person. And I think there's a lot of fear. in the, There's a lot of fear of growing old alone, but that's not the case. That's not the case. You're not going to grow old alone. I think that this person needs to leave your life so that you can, you know, 
live again, whatever that means to you. Um, some sort of something is about to be revealed. Something is about, you probably sensed it was coming. It is coming. I feel like you've been blackmailed. I feel like you've been blackmailed by somebody. Okay, I do. I feel like you've been blackmailed. I feel like they're, they're, it's over. It's over. You can breathe. I feel like they've caused you a lot of paranoia. Somebody has caused you a lot of paranoia and I feel like they've restricted you. But now you can go out and socialize. Now you can now you now you don't have to hide anymore. I think you're gonna be coming this is the beginning of coming out of hiding for you. So I feel like this week you're gonna be dropping something that was holding you down. It's like this big weight is about to be lifted off your back. I think there's been some sort of delay, but it's over. And that's how I feel. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or something like that, but this is all coming to an end. It's all coming to an end. I think you're dealing, whoever you're dealing with that was holding you back has some health issues. They have some health issues. And, you know, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what's going on with them, but they may, you know, I'm not sure if they're, what's going on, but they have some, they have some health issues. And I feel like they, um, there's going to be a separation from this person. So anyway, good luck. <laughs>